Hi and welcome to this series of videos about Flourish, a new and very powerful data visualization tool that lets you create both interactive graphics and um, also static visualizations, including maps and statistical charts, etc. and so on and so forth. Just to give you a glimpse of what you can do with the software, I have several examples that I will cover in these videos. I will teach you how to create some of these. Floris lets you create, for instance, let me see if I have a couple of examples here, lets you create graphics like these. This is a um, map of the presidential election results in 2016 in Florida, uh, which I inserted in a story, which you can also create in, in Flourish. So if I click on next, you will see um, the uh, total vote for, uh, sorry, the percentage of vote for the, the Republican candidate. If I click on next, uh, you will see the a percentage of votes for the Democratic candidate in 2016 and then if I click on next you will get a bubble map that shows you the total amount of votes for Republicans the next one shows you the total votes for Democrat Democrats and as you can see this is completely interactive and then the next slide shows um, a, will load a scatter plot that shows you the relationship between percentage of African Americans and percentage of vote for the Democratic candidate county by county and state by state by state. Okay, so all these graphics can be generated uh, with Flourish. Uh, the next one is, a, this is just another example. Uh, it's a map of the of the world showing you children per woman and their life expectancy. You can click on any of the others and you will switch um, the, the colors. As you can see, this is number of children per woman. So uh, African countries have a much larger amount of children per, per woman and their life expectancy. Uh, as you can see, those same countries have lower life expectancies that other countries in the world. And you can also create maps like these. Right? This is a bubble map of democratic vote in the 2016 elections, um, which again is completely interactive. Now, an important thing about, about Flourish is that Flourish is based on a freemium model. Right? If you go to their website and sign up for it, you will see that it has a pricing section that describes what you can do and what you cannot do with each one of the versions. So the public version of Flourish lets you do a lot of stuff. All right. Um, so, but the problem is that the data that you use will be publicly visible. So you should never use the public version of Flourish with proprietary data, for example. But if you use data from sources such as, you know, the World Bank or the Census or the United Nations, etc., you should be fine. All templates uh, are available for free. Uh, there are a limited amount of, of public views. You can embed the projects on your site. So, for example, if you create an interactive graphic such as the one that I was showing before, you will be able to click on these and then publish. Right? So I can, I'm going to click on publish. I'm going to make this public temporarily. And this is going to generate a, a, a diff that you can copy and paste in your own website. And then it will load. The, the, the graphic itself exists in Flourish's servers, but it will load automatically in your website okay? as part of your, as part of your stories. And it also lets you create stories and presentations. So this is a presentation. And this is a story, okay, a, step, a stepper, a step-by-step -step story. And you can save the images for offline use. As I showed you before, you can download the map, this map, for example. So I can go here, export and publish, download the image. This is for free, available for anybody. I can save it as a SVG, which is a vector file. I can download that. And then I can go over here, and then I can drop, drag and drop that map onto Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape or any other vector editing program you commonly use and the map will be completely editable right so this is a vector map and the same thing happens with the statistical charts as we should soon see so i can select any of these bubbles change the color i, I can add annotations so i can restyle this map actually i can show you some examples of the work that i have done with these so i created this this map of presidential election results i also created this other map bubble size proportional to the number of votes for the republican or democratic candidate all right, and I, I have also created several statistical charts that I will show you in a minute. So all these capabilities are available for free. And you can create different versions of the same project, mobile mobile and tablet and computer size, etc. Now, if you want your data to remain private, all right, then you need to go to the to the paid for version, which has extra capabilities. You can keep your data and projects private. And then you can also download and self-host projects. That means that in addition to generating a, a div that you can copy and paste on your on your HTML. In the paid for version, this Flourish will also uh, let you download the HTML and the JavaScript that is being generated in the background. Every time that you make a change here, that you edit the map or whatever, 
what is going in the background is that a, a, the software is changing the HTML or the CSS or the JavaScript, and you will be able to download that all those files to your computer. Um, these capabilities, but this capability will be available, by the way, if you are a journalist or a news organization. Uh, once you sign up for Flourish, um, you can you can contact them, and they, if you work for a, again for a, for a news organization, they will they will give you access to this capability for free. Even if you don't use the paid for version, you will have these um, uh, these available to you. But if you are a regular user, a non journalist or whatever, you can just take a, take advantage of all these capabilities. So these are the ones that I'm going to be covering in the next uh, few videos in which I'm going to illustrate and create all these uh, graphics that you have on the screen right now and some others such as statistical charts, scatter plots, etc.